Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HTTV Test here. As we initially covered in a video two days ago, Samsung has today officially launched its new 110-inch micro LED TV, first in South Korea and then later on globally. Now, if you are hearing some background noise, it is because I'm actually copying a game onto my PS5 at the moment, and my PS5 is actually unfortunately one of the noisier ones, so I hope you can bear with me because I don't like to waste time waiting for the game to be copied when I do some HDR analysis later on. But let's talk about Samsung's new micro LED television. Why is it different this time? I think, you know, the key difference are several things. The first thing is that, you know, this is as close to a television as a Samsung micro LED has been offered. By that, I mean previously, Samsung has the wall and other micro LED offerings, but they are only available in a B2B format, so they can only sell it to custom install companies, which will then, you know, provide these screens for really wealthy clients. But for the first time in the history of micro LED TV by a company, Samsung is making this new 110-inch micro LED TV in a more B2C format in the sense that, you know, consumers can actually go out and buy it, although the price is actually not going to be cheap at all. And previously, you will know also that micro LED TVs are made out of different modules, so you have to actually buy the modules individually and then assemble it. But this new Samsung micro LED TV 110 inch will be pre-assembled or prefabricated, which means that you know you buy it in one piece, albeit a really big piece, and it will all be assembled and it will function just like a television. There will be HDMI ports, although there's no details on whether it is HDMI 2.1, you know, supporting 40 gigabits per second or 48 gigabits per second. And there will be a smart TV platform and it will come in a metallic casing with a screen to body ratio of 99.99%, which means that, you know, almost the whole image that you see from the front will be the screen, which is even more impressive than the infinity screen that you see on Samsung's 8K Q950TS. Although if you get a larger screen size, then obviously the bezel doesn't need to be as thin, you know, to get a higher screen to body ratio. But still, I think, you know, it is going to be providing a really impressive picture that is bezel-less, well, virtually bezel-less. And the attractiveness about micro LED technology is, first of all, it is just like OLED in the sense of its self-emissiveness. So every single pixel on screen can be turned on and off independently of each other, allowing for true blacks, vibrant colors, and also really wide viewing angles. And the appeal of micro LED technology over OLED is the promise of no burn-in. So because micro LED is using inorganic material, so potentially it will be immune to permanent screen burn or burn-in that has affected OLED display technology so far. And another impressive thing about micro LED is the lack of ABL. Because again, even though this 110-inch micro LED TV from Samsung is prefabricated, I believe that it will be still be using modules and each module will be able to output a certain peak brightness which will not have any detrimental impact on the total brightness of the TV. So I believe that you know Samsung has actually quoted a peak brightness of 2000 nits for the micro LED television as reported by my well-informed colleague at What Hi-Fi, Mr. Tom Parsons, who presumably had a briefing with Samsung directly. And the thing is this 2000 nits of peak brightness will be able to be generated throughout the entire screen without any dimming unlike OLED. Current consumer OLEDs are capped to a peak wide of around 150 nits if you try to do full screen wide. But because micro LED is not really impacted by ABL, the peak brightness of each module, you know, can be blasted to the max without actually affecting the other modules. So potentially this Samsung micro LED TV 110 inch will be able to generate a full screen peak wide of 2000 nits, giving that sort of tremendous HDR impact to any sort of content that content creators wish to 
you know, try and use that sort of canvas to generate that sort of peak brightness. And I think that obviously some of you will think that, you know, you will never need that sort of peak brightness. But until you actually physically watch a high peak brightness piece of content with the correct specular highlight detail and the correct level of APL to give you that sort of raw emotional feeling, you will never know what you're actually missing out. And I'm a big fan of peak brightness, as you probably know from my reviews of other high nit full array local dimming LED LCD televisions. Now let's talk about the consumer friendly, well as consumer friendly as this micro LED can be, side of this Samsung 110 inch micro LED television. And there will be a sound system on board. I think Samsung brands it as Majestic Sound System. It is 5.1. It has Object Sound Tracking Pro, which is how they try to use the placements of the speakers around the frame to better localize the sound of the objects on screen. And there will be a multi-view technology as well. So because this is a 110 inch screen, it is equivalent to the size of 455 inch TVs. And Samsung has designed a way to allow four separate pictures to be output on the micro LED TV. So you can either use all four HDMI ports to output separate pictures each picture will be 55 inches in screen size, or you can use an app, let's say the Netflix app, and then three other HDMI inputs. So you can watch Netflix, and then you know your family can watch other stuff, maybe football or something. Although I don't really advise you to try and watch cuties, you know, when you're sharing the screen with other members of your family. And the thing is, you can also put say your CCTV footage on one HDMI port and then look at your CCTV there and you know how CCTV footage are usually split into four quadrants so there will be picture in picture in picture you know inception style <laughs> so those are the use of the multi-view technology that such a big screen real estate gives you and I think you know what we want to know now is the price really and unfortunately Samsung has not really come up with a price just like you know before I don't think they have actually announced any official pricing for their micro LED products including the wall but obviously you can get those prices from custom installers from distributors but according to Mr. Tom Parsons at What Hi Fi Again he has found a news report from Business Korea that says that the price of this 110 inch micro LED TV will be around 100 million Korean won and this translates to around 70,000 pounds which is coming down certainly it is not affordable by most people but then most people won't be considering this product won't be considering a 110 inch consumer television anyway oh also another thing that i need to mention about this samsung 100 inch micro led television is its 4k resolution now remember i said that currently there is still some roadblock in the technology in terms of the surface mounting device and also the pick and place technology that prevents the pixel pitch from being shrunk even further to allow for 8K resolution on such a small, I mean 110 inch being small, I'm just being a bit sarcastic currently, on such a small screen. So it is still running at a 4K resolution, which you know may be an improvement if you consider that, let's say maybe last year or even two years ago, 4K means that you have to go with 146 inch, but at least Samsung has shrunk the technology down to 110 inches in screen size. So let's consider what other competing products we can buy at this price point of around £70,000. The one that comes to my mind would be the Sony GTZ 380 10,000 lumen 4K projector which retails for around £80,000 and that's not even including the lens, you have to pay more for the lens. And for that sort of money, I would very much prefer to buy the Samsung 110 inch micro LED television because it is capable of generating true blacks, it is capable of delivering 100% of DCI-P3 coverage, it is capable of producing a peak white of 2000 nits full screen, giving that sort of canvas for tremendous HDR impact that the Sony GTZ 380, however good it is, will never be able to touch. Even though 
To be fair, the Sony projector may be able to light up an even bigger screen, maybe up to 200 inches, but no projector will be able to come close to providing the sort of HDR impact that a direct view display, which the micro LED TV is, can provide. And if I was not actually saving my budget to expand my YouTube empire, I would be all over this Samsung 110 inch micro LED TV like Arsenal Fan TV is all over every Arsenal result these days. And this Samsung micro LED TV is available to pre-order in Korea starting from today apparently and it will be able to be bought globally next year and I think that it will be begin shipping in the first quarter of 2021. If you would like to watch some of our other videos on next-gen display technology such as micro LED, mini LED, dual layer LCD, QD OLED, I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and I will see you in the next video.